If you have a homeschool student, or maybe a student that goes to school, and you are wanting them to take ownership of their schoolwork, of their chores, of their daily responsibilities, I have a solution for you, my friends. The Penny Pincher Planner that we all know and love. You know how I love their home planner. Why do I love it? Because of all the daily checklists. You guys, they have created a student academic planner with the same idea. I want to show it to you. Hey guys, my name is Rachel and I am a homeschool mom to three kiddos age 9, 13, and 16. And I am no stranger to planners. I love planners myself. My high schooler uses a planner. He uses the Mardell Student Planner. But I have a upcoming fourth grader who is also very organized and very ready to take control of her tasks on a daily basis. Now in the past I have talked about these really cool checklists that I have used from Erin Condren and I love those checklists because they're very rainbowy. but my fourth grader was actually asking me for a planner. How can I say no when this child who is a budding planner is practically begging me to buy her a planner. The reason she wanted a planner was because she wants like the monthly calendar view so she can put all of her friends' birthdays. She wants to keep track of her doctor's appointments, of her haircuts, of any play dates that she might have, or even chores. I mean, God bless this child. She's such a planner. She wants to plan ahead even like her big tasks like when she needs to clean her room. So I was thinking about just getting her just a generic planner and then I remembered that the Passionate Penny Pincher made an academic planner. I think this might be its second year and I didn't use it last year because my son really does like the Mardell student planner layout. But I thought this academic planner is perfect for the child who loves the daily checklists and maybe doesn't have, doesn't have a need for a lot of space to write down a lot of tasks so let me show it to you here and show you how we're going to use it okay so here is the academic planner and just for a size comparison like this is the penny pincher home planner this is a little bit bigger than an Erin Condren planner so this is pretty neat and tidy I'm not sure the exact size I want to say five by eight so perfect for just throwing in a backpack. It's not very thick. There's definitely not as much in it as like a life planner, but for a student, this is probably all they need. So this is the girl cover. The boy cover is just like a solid blue and it has, you know, uh, 23 to 24 down here. So it comes with the same page marker here. So it has this cute little vision board, goals, quote, scripture, inspired by scripture, yes, because Passionate Penny Pincher is a Christian, so there's going to be scripture in here. Believes in, dreams, hopes, values, thankful for. So then there's my favorite things. Books, movies, candies, music, artists, places, snacks, games, and sports. This is what I love about the Passionate Penny Pincher Planner too, is all these fun checklists. If you're a checklist person and you're not quite sure, or you're not quite sure where to start with your checklist, they give you a good starting point here. So back to school checklist for one month ahead, what you could do for one week ahead, what you could do. Um, basic supplies you might need and additional supplies that they might need. And then my checklist for planning a birthday party, for Christmas, for cleaning your room, and packing for a trip. So just some fun little checklists here. And um, when we open up the actual month's layout, I wonder if these will be marked. I might help my daughter like plan in her planner. Hey, go to the checklists at the front of your planner for your one month ahead and start working on it. She would love that. Sometimes kids are so bored they need a little bit of purpose, so these checklists are perfect for that. Budgeting and savings. I'm definitely going to be working on all of my kids on this this year. We're going to give them like an overall allowance on a weekly basis, and they can earn more or they might have some taken away depending on 
their behavior or if they get their schoolwork done, but that allowance is going to include their clothing budget for the year. So like if they need new tennis shoes or they want to go and get a special drink at the coffee shop, they are going to have to budget themselves. But also if they have something they want to save up for, say they want a hoverboard or they want to go roller skating with a friend and they never have leisure money like those are the types of things I'm gonna have my kids start learning how to budget themselves so these pages are really cool here's the money that you're getting here's the money that you want to spend with your goals money that you want to save and then give away because this is the other thing we make our kids buy each other's birthday presents and Christmas gifts so mom and dad doesn't pay for those they use their own income from doing chores or from their own birthday money to do that then there's a spot for the class schedule if you go to a traditional school or if my daughter wants to do things in a certain order I suppose she could plan something here so this planner isn't specifically designed for homeschoolers. I'm just telling you how, we'll, how we will modify it. Notes up front, she could use that again to plan anything she wants to do. She could use it to plan her birthday party or plan ahead for gifts she wants to buy for people. Also at the front, they tell you how they could use this planner. Okay. So as you can see, here are the daily checklists. These checklists are for morning tasks and these are for evening tasks. And then there's only six slots here for homework. But here's what we're gonna do. I, we will probably draw a line right here so we can use this side and this side for tasks. So that's 12 tasks, that's pretty good. Especially considering the tasks up here are for get dressed, make bed, tidy room. Um, and then there's some blank ones here. We'll probably figure out how we're going to add like our morning chores or afternoon chores or something up here. Um, this does come with stickers, which I'll show you here in a minute. I think for my daughter, this will be perfect. And look, there's going to be fun little special national holidays for Waffle Day. She's probably going to remind me of that when it pops up. And then the monthly calendar, which is where she wants to put all the birthdays. So this is what it looks like blank. You can see here National Chocolate Chip Cookie Day. She will be free to bake those if she likes. Sister's Days. Oh my gosh. She is going to love this planner. So every week is pretty much the same. Just to go over again what is on these daily checklists. We've got shower, skin care, get dressed, make bed, tidy room, eat breakfast, load unload the dishwasher pack lunch drink water then you've got your two blank sides here check school assignments that will be key for mom before you get any of your evening tv time or screen time that needs to be checked off do homework practice your sports and instrument fold laundry put away pack bag for the next day exercise read and then three more weekly activities or habits that they would like to track here. So every month is the same. You just have your monthly layout here and then your weeklies. I don't think there's, oh, and you can see every month also has this scripture up here. Again, there's where I said the Christian aspect to this planner. I don't think there's, there's nothing really fancy about the tabs. There's no special November divider or anything. And then at the end of the planner, so the planner ends in July. So this is the other thing. When we got this planner in the mail, my daughter was so excited to unbox it, but she was disappointed that it did not start till August because she wanted to start planning right away. This will come with a free digital download of May through July if you want a summer planner and then you can just print it out yourself. So let's skip all the way to the back. There's a few more notes pages here, but then it comes with some stickers. Stickers for picture day, field trip, field trip, quiz, 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 study, read, test, project due, report due, homework, practice, no school, no school, dance. And then looks like these could be, maybe these are like special rewards or a snow day they could put down there or fall starts this could be winter starts fall start I don't know we'll see what she ends up coming up with so it's pretty simple there's no pocket in the back but 
This coil is a very, very nice coil, and the reason that my daughter is so excited about it is the checklists. Besides the physical planner and besides the summer digital download planner, with the purchase of the physical planner, you also get the digital download of it. So you could buy a physical planner for one student and then you could download the planner for another student and print it off yourself. Or maybe you have another student like I do who you're not really sure if they would take to a planner or not. So you don't really wanna buy them one. You kinda of wanna see how it works. That digital download is a great compromise. I might try that for my middle schooler. I also have a Not Consumed digital planner. I'll link Not Consumed below also. My middle child, she, she needs a lot of help planning. We've used the Erin Condren checklist before. Checklists are good, I will say, especially for a child with ADHD. If you are writing it in the list, do this, 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 in small chunks, I think it is a lot easier for them to manage their own time with very detailed checklists. If you just say, go do your homework, and it's not written down for them, they may not remember what their homework was, or they may not feel like they even know where to begin. So maybe a planner is something you should try with that child who struggles with time management. I wanted to show this to you now because they are running a launch sale as we speak. I will have the details below in the description about the sale. They are also running a sale on the digital download. I will have Penny Pincher link below. I would so appreciate it if you use my link so that they know who sent you. And if you want a closer look at the Penny Pincher home planner, check out this video right here. This is what I use for my life planner, and I love it. They also have meal planning boxes, so if you're a mom who has trouble planning dinner, check out this one right here. Until next time, bye.